Hello Simmers! So this is my Lucy Highmore Sim. I've been playing with her for a long time and I've been doing a lot of gameplay with her. Um, she's the reason why I decided to start my YouTube channel. And I decided to move her out of the big mansion and move her into a small cottage since I've been focusing on the cottage living pack. And it's just her and her two cats so I've cancelled the butler and um, I'm playing around with gameplay and exploring the different uh, ways of playing. So um, I decided to do a cottage farmhouse and this is her genealogy um so that's her great grandson and this is her granddaughter who had a scientific baby who i'm also doing gameplay with and i'm gonna move her and oscar her brother the one on the right those two with the baby are going to be in um the mansion um so that That'll be the next genealogy section that I play with, so I'm on the fourth generation, which is also quite a cool, uh, different aspect to look at, because it's quite fun looking at the family tree and all the connections. I've never played with them long enough to actually have all of this um, information. I'm also doing the Black Widow challenge with Lucy, but unfortunately it actually doesn't show in the genealogy. Um, so she's had three husband so far um it's to outlive five the different types of gameplay i've been working on aspirations so i've completed most of them i'm working on the wellness aspirations at the moment we'll eventually go to star wars though it's one of my least favorite packs i've been doing all the careers one of the aspirations is uh, achievements is to reach level 10 art career so she is on level nine so that's what she's working on at the moment to max the art career she's already maxed a few careers but um it's, i'm just playing around with gameplay um and then we have been working on her skills um but i've pretty much maxed out all the skills excepting veterinarian that's on level eight thanks to uh cats and pets being so freaking needy um, I decided to put the veterinarian operation machine in the house and do it myself um, and fix my cats myself. Then the main reason why I was playing with uh, Lucy, which started my channel, was the, co the collection items, collectibles. So all the highlighted ones are ones that I've completed and then other ones are still to be completed. Then I'm also playing with the Realm of Magic, and I'm trying to complete the spellcaster perks. So um, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six spellcaster perks, but it takes quite a long time to unlock each one. So that's quite frustrating. And then I still have the Highmore Cafe. I'm trying to figure out how to so see how on service is gold. I'm trying to make the personal touch and meal quality gold as well. Excellent. So those are growth opportunities. And to keep it level five and just to keep the patrons happy and yeah, good quality and to actually make a meal profit. So that's why I'm not going to be getting rid of her anytime soon. So I decided to do this uh, cottage farm because I've been focusing on the cottage living and it just made sense. And I had so much fun designing this and playing with the uh, different types of gravel, sand and um, different types of dirt features instead of just the normal tiles and outdoor uh, textiles and stuff like that so you can see there's at least one two three four five six seven it's a whole bunch that i've played with there um so this is the gardening section and then there's like an indoor greenhouse which means that the seasons won't affect my plants will be quite cool um i've also been playing with the exterior features um and uh decorational features so like the wall art you'll see there's lots of vines and stuff which is quite cool i've been having a lot of fun doing that and um, there's a little couch there for you to go and sit and have a cup of tea or whatever 
I'm gonna have to restart my whole garden, which I was really far. A lot of them were on magnificent quality, the the half five star quality. So it's gonna be quite interesting to start from the beginning. But I wanna try and win all the Finchwick Fair Festival ribbons. So that's why I decided to go into a farm. Just makes a little bit more sense to focus on that. Um, she'll probably quit her job and her restaurant at some point. Then I've got all the outdoor animals, the birds, the insects, the rabbits, the honey, well, the beehive for honey and bees and stuff. Then chickens. And I, had a lot of, I had a lot of fun playing with the planting of the shrubs and the ground feature. And there's a cow and llama uh shrub which is quite cool i've got my llama there i'm getting ready for the horse pack which i'm really excited about and then i love my little walkways and all the plants and then there's the outdoor section um i decided to clutter it more with plants rather than objects um so this is a pool it's not a dam i just changed the color of the water so she can still go in there and swim there's supposed to be ducks and swans i don't know why it didn't happen i'll have to go into that but yeah it's basically just a place to go and um float and sit in the sun have a drink relax and enjoy the fresh air um so i had a lot of fun making it really bushy and overgrown with trees and plants and um that sort of thing and in the house I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it exactly how it is I might change it but I had a lot of fun with the uh, exterior part of it do I'm um, wanting to do a building uh, beginner guide thing so um, I've been playing with the actual features myself so I know what they are I haven't worked out the names yet so the things that join the to co the columns together I think they're called spandrels and the trims on the windows and so I had a lot of fun with that and then the inside of the house I decided to keep kind of old oldish uh uh old-fashioned vibe um and I usually don't play with curtains but I've been having a lot of fun with curtains lately um and then I kept the actual interior th um furniture modern because um just so that she can still uh play around because she does like to cook and so they fulfill the different needs that she likes to do so for example kitchen's modern because she likes to cook and bake then she needs computer because she does gaming and social media and then i love this little nook area that i created i might get the uh i think it's called a book nook i'm not sure the kit pack and then also the greenhouse kit pack um to redo a couple of things and then I decided to not clutter the inside of the house because I always do that and um, it just looks messy. She doesn't need all of that. That's exactly why I read the new crest so that there's a lot of public locations for her to go and play in and to go and experience stuff like the gym and all of that and um, bars and whatever. Um, but she is musical, so she needs her artistry thing. And there's just a single bed and one bedroom and one bathroom. And then I even changed her outfits to match the sort of artsy um cottage vibe. And then there's an outdoor eatery with a beautiful painting easel outside where she can look at the beautiful landscaping to get her inspiration. Um, but yeah, I really love the outdoor um the art the vibe that I created. And I've got the thatch roof with the solar panels and trying to make it eco-friendly. And so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing with um, this. It is on my gallery, uh, Megan Sally. And um, let me know what you think. And please subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed it, if you want to play with it, if you change it, pop in the comments what you changed so I can see how different people think different line of people and um, that's a really cool aspect as well but yeah thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and have an awesome day